Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching this from. I hope you all are doing great from your respective places. Welcome back yet again to another video, to another story. Harry and Meghan's Colombian tour was a success and yes, it did come to an end. They were praised. They were recognized, they were appreciated because of the impact, the difference that they had brought to the people of Colombia. And as I always say, everyone is watching and worse and is listening. Globally, Harry and Meghan Stewart to Colombia has really captured people's eyes. And uh, I'm not surprised now that the British media remains angry. The couple, they labeled irrelevant, a single-handedly reshaping everything uh, from access to consumption of the lies they spew. They remain angry. The star success won't cover in uh, fear. They are so better. You might be questioning yourself, why am I bringing about this? Baby C is roaring. Baby C is out and about bitter, angry because they were denied access. Didn't they get them more? Didn't they get, you know, the whole thing that media outlets from outside, journalists from outside won't cover it, but rather specific people would be allowed to do so. According to BBC, they are questioning how dare the star success refuse to refused access to us after we bagged her into Colombia. Who invited you? That should be the first question. Who invited you? You came without invitation. They are forgetting the high and Megan are private citizens and can travel anywhere in the world that they choose to. They chose to bring the correspondent they wanted. For the BBC, they represent the UK public. Why did the royal family need 45% pay rise as 25% of UK lives below poverty line? Those are the things that they are supposed to be so much desperate in covering. The sheer audacity that BBC were not invited, but they bugged that in and demanded a seat at the table or oh, no like literally that among us the impossible things that harry and megan are not ready to work with harry lothers the british media enough for 10 lifetimes i'm sure him and megan were well aware of how they spoke about nigeria and didn't want what happened to happen again Harry and Meghan are very much updated. As much as they don't speak out to the public, they don't address it out here. They see and they watch. And of course, they act when need be. BBC are bitter. But you know what? We're happy whenever Harry and Meghan are happy. And the fact that they know what they want and the fact that they have a boundary, the British media can remain angry for whatsoever long they want. The BBC, you know, literally had Megan Puppet that was a stabbing cat. Because Megan was blacker, she must be stereotyped. You know how they roll. You know how they roll. It wasn't the first. And of course, Harry and Megan were not ready to give it a, a chance. They really thought uh, they could run the Sussexes out of the UK, then stalk them across the world for access. That's the impossible nightmare they are definitely having. They are bitter for no reason. They are jealous for no reason. Poor Gata Press is having a pity party because after bagging into Colombia, they weren't invited to any event. Too bad, so sad, cry harder. They are getting what they deserve from them. And that's, that's it. That's what they 
deserved. I and Megan are so much undeserving of this whole trolling, stalking, intrusion, you know, them wanting to spoil their reputation in one way or another. Harry and Meghan are so much undeserving of that. They deserve better. And for the BBC reporters, that's what they were looking for. And they, defi they definitely got what they were looking for. I know a rubber stamp over denial. And of course, the fact that they aren't ready or they never thought Harry and Meghan would do that. Yes, they did. Myself, I love just seeing uh, the Sussexes keep their feet on the UK's uh, on the UK media, on the UK media's neck, because it's a high time for Harry and Meghan to act. The royal rodents surely must be far too busy following behind the do-nothing taxpayer-funded royals to which they have full access to be concerned with the globally loved philanthropist Sar success. That's right. Like that's right. The as opposed to be fully focused, you know, like full time reporting about the left behinds, but not the star success. They say they are irrelevant. They stepped down as working royals. What better thing do they need from Harry and Meghan? And this is what Kaiser had to say. Some would say that the star success fans are wallowing in negativity. When we keep abreast of what the British media is saying about Prince Harry and Meghan. Why I do think uh, people should be more careful about amplifying negativity and hate. I also think uh, that it's perfectly respons reasonable to keep our eye on what the hell those uh, salty people are saying. The British media has uh, desperately tried uh, to influence American and international coverage of Harry and Meghan uh, for years. And what sucks is that sometimes they are successful. What starts as a liar or smear over the Daily Mail will suddenly turn up in the deadline of People magazine. All of which are to say I'm still reading through the British coverage of the Star Success Colombian tour. It's clear that the British media is beyond furious that they don't have access of Harry and Meghan. And they can't order the star success to give them the access they long or they crave so much for. The Telegraph ran a piece demanding that the star success spawn feed a briefing and content to them. All also they can independently scrutinize Harry and Meghan. Well, the BBC ran a similar piece with even more details about how little access they had to the star success in Colombia. And as I always say, Harry and Meghan just got started. They haven't seen it yet. That couple is going to show them dust that, of course, they aren't ready to deal with. The couple and the government only allowed their own videographers and photographers into most of the events, which they say was to make sure events were represented accurately. Few footage was released daily with justifiable tech issues with thus if it was any royal couple doing a royal tour on behalf of the government. But because Harry and Meghan are two private yet high-profile citizens, who gives a damn? It's like, oh, Bill Gates controlled media access when he did an event with a government official in India. In court, they took with them only one pool reporter from Harper's Bazaar, who released a daily updates to the media about what they were doing. That's because of the British media backed into Colombia and invited. There was a never supposed to be a traveling royal press corps attached to this visit. And this, this has really, really created tension. They are crying. Tears are just all over. 
That's crazy. I know that's crazy, but that's what they deserve. That's what they definitely asked for. Because why the need of you going covering up, uh, you know, a whole event. But what you present to people is not what people are expecting. I don't know what you're thinking, but baby, see, that is just them. Showcasing how petty they get or how petty they can be at times. And trust me, you, there are going to be a lot of other magazines, articles, and other media outlets crying more. I don't know what you're thinking. Just let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Hoping to see you guys in our next more videos to come.